ass today. <laughs> and it's going to be the Meta Knight and Sora. So this is Juggle City. It's like, I'm going to put you above me, and then you are going to stay there for eight minutes at a time. <laughs> Already, Mocha trying to pivot uh, near one, two up to, uh, one, two up airs. Booty landing a dash attack on the other side. It is a slow start to this neutral here on Pokemon Stadium. I do feel like the game plan here is if you're the red team, you want to get Booty in disadvantage, keep, keep Booty juggled. And if you're the blue team, you want to keep Leo juggled as much as you can. Just get the high APM characters off the screen as fast as you can. Fair, fair enough. And do we see, uh, we're starting to see like a little bit of that, Jay. Like, um, it feels like Rami and Leo are both hard focusing on Booty here, especially when Booty is taking himself out of the game like that. Good uh, recovery on the part of Karkson in order to delay and deal with two people potentially. We got sort of a double ledge trap situation going on here, and but who's really being ledge trapped yeah. here? Like it feels like <laughs> it feels like Karkson is stage trapping these other two. It's like, can you deal with all of my spells with my floatiness? Uh, the fact that up air is so big and so disjointed, and the thunder as well have to respect that. How going high with the aerial sweep? Unfortunately, Booty dropping his stock on the other side. That's Quick to the revenge kill though. I feel like in the previous interaction, Karkzim is pretty happy sort of planking on the side of the stage, but the, the bad part about that is when Booty's alone, there's not much Booty can do. Yeah, you're kind of reliant on, if you're giving Meta Knight all of this stage to work with, you have to um, monopolize on his speed, and there is a huge play there from Booty in order to close out the stock from Leo, evening up this game so quickly. I'm splitting up into two scrambles here again, the Pikachu and Meta Knight on the side of the stage, and the Sorties are at it again. Couple jabs back and forth. Oh, this could a be. Oh, just missing on the timing of it. I feel like Leo just uh, Leo was doing a good job of getting out of that combo, throwing off the DI just a little bit. Karkson establishing uh, what was a little bit of state control, but Leo, uh, excuse me, uh, Ram was, has been just trying to chase down uh, Karkson. It feels like for most of this game, finally getting a grab. I feel like these large hitboxes from Karkson are really problematic. Um, yeah, it's a it's going to be a problem no matter how, which way you try and slice it. Uh, as oh, he didn't have a jump. He must have gotten his jump taken somewhere else. And oh, Car Rami falls out of that uh, of the shuttle loop. Man, a couple bad breaks for blue team if they're sitting on one stock apiece. And yeah, Meta Knight's not looking healthy here. Wow, okay, I thought you were really yeah. going to die to Lucina Fair. Back air, maybe. Fair? No, sir. But Dolphin Slash on the corner like that? For sure. Leo and Rami getting a, a big chance at some revenge here. And we're still in best of three territory. All of doubles is best of three. I like that drift from uh, from Karkson, though. Drift off stage. Just try and find ways to counter hit and find ways to just swing your hitboxes in both directions. The synchronized team combos from Rami and Leo are really making it problematic for Karkson. All right, taking the freeze again, not trying to risk too much. The aerial sweep doesn't close up the stock. Good DI on the part of Leo. This is this is a lot. Like this is a lot to try and take in. Regrabbing here. No punish. Yeah, wanna didn't think they would regrab, I suppose, but that's certainly gonna do it. Just just Pikachu things you find. The rising aerial into falling there, down spin. It just works. It just, <laughs> it just works every time. People get antsy. The answer to that, well, it's harder in doubles. The answer to that is just to wait on ledge, do like drop down, especially a sore, you can do drop down, double jump up air. But he also just did that, so it's a little hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ledge trapping from these two, the red team was pretty insane it's there. I mean, I know Sora's good. pretty comfortable at ledge, but there's only so much you can do when there's two bodies blocking your path. Yeah, it felt like there were. Uh, Karkson was doing such a good job of like establishing, giving Booty time, in in order to try and come and support him whenever he was off in a ledge trap like that. But a lot of times it would be like their uh, red team would just divide the stage in two. It's like, okay, you ledge trap there, I'll ledge trap over here, and win, go. And, like, <laughs> and it worked. It worked like a charm. Yeah, I think if I'm Karkson here, one thing that you could do is in, most of that match was split between Booty and Leo scrapping and. Uh, Rami and Karkson scrapping, and I wonder if Karkson can sort of take on Leo, just give Booty some more time to sort of delete the Lucina out of the game. Because the edgeguarding is coming in, the edgeguarding ledge trapping from Lucina is really proving to be a strong factor here in doubles. For sure. And they do stick with the Meta Knight. It looked like Booty was uh, talking over with his teammate, like trying to see 
trying to contemplate is like, do we want to stick with this kind of high rolly kind of team dynamic? Are we looking for some more, something that can directly counter Lucina in a lot of ways and to leave yourself open to Pikachu? Like, this is not exactly uh, ideal when it comes to trying to deal with it. It's such a solid team dynamic that red team is sporting. Gonna have to provide a lot of support to each other. Which starting off pretty early here, that back air would have been crazy from Booty. We are on a smaller stage here. I think the true. idea is probably like the split up between the two matches. Uh, if there's two side 1v1s going on, it's easier to converge in the center. Um, That's true. If you need coverage. I completely agree here, Jay. Like just the the ability to kind of like always be at one's beck and call, like each other's beck and call, is going to be uh, monumental, especially given the amount of speed that red team showed off. Oh, but another back air there. Booty just trying to come in here with a jab. I love that edge guard attempt, but the spells, the rotation of spells being managed so finely on the part of Karkson, turning that game, uh, turning the potential stock loss into an easy recovery. The Nair from Leo splitting up Karkson and Booty again, and her back here in these 1v1 sorties versus high APM. Yeah, this is. I mean, Booty's already dropped a stock, and Leo making so many perfect callouts in that ledge trap there to the point where Booty's like, all right, I'm, I'm out. I'm like, I'm not trying to deal with this Pikachu anymore. Wow, another grab. So huge. Keep, again, establishing ledge play. And here on the other side of the stage, uh, Rami really doing a good job holding Karkson, not letting him come back. Wow, that, that was a forward smash start if I've ever seen one, but Karkson <laughs> getting a, that forward air in just in time. But the up out of shield there for Booty is going to uh, bleed one of the socks from Rami. But, wow, going for a wall jump edge there, edge guard there, but Booty is able to find a down smash on the little bit of an overextension from the part of Leo. Leaving, uh, leaving Karkson just playing stock tank and playing it very well. Ledge is friend, but not always. <laughs> <laughs> Ledge is friend until Lucina's there to meet you with a dolphin slash. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. <laughs> Like, what are you going to do? Jump from wedge against my frame one invulnerability? That was a super nice reverse aerial sweep, though. Again, just any ways of reversal force um, force Lucina and force just red team to be uncomfortable and to be separated in their positioning so that you can try and find ways to turn it around. Yeah, every time Carson tries to run back to center to help out Booty, Rami's always right there to sort of force Carson back. But a great, well, great edge guard there by Carson. Yeah, so good. So good from this Sora. And, they, and I mean, they're sitting here with just two stocks on the uh, two stocks on the Sora, playing such a, a really pristine stock tank. It's letting Booty kind of cut loose a little bit. Like, okay, like we've got the stock lead. It's okay to kind of go in with some of these dash attacks. Ooh, maybe not for long. That thunder coming in huge on the part of Leo. If they're able to close out an edge guard here, maybe find a dolphin slash. There it is. The dolphin slash out of shield at the ledge has been great for. Oh, and the tides have turned so quick. That was the perfect sequence for Red Team to put themselves in a 2v1 here. And a, not an unmanageable one from Karkzim, but being able to take Blue Team, uh, being able to take the stock from Sora and then Booty puts them into this position. Ooh, oh, hello. my goodness. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Leo just standing there. It's like, okay, we're just going to wait here. I'm going to wait for you to hit my opponent and then I'll get you with an up air fair. Going deep for the edge guard and resetting to ledge. We have Leo here playing the 1v1 and Rami standing there as a stage hazard right now. Oh, that was such a good turnaround from uh, from Karkzim. Hitting his, hitting one red team and then the other, pinging back and forth between their targets. Can't afford to lock on here. Karkzim's doing a great job. So they're slowing the game down, trying to only pick the safest possible spots, but it's, there's only so much you can do. Oh, oh! They're... Uh, Leo, I guess, drifted off trying to go for a forward air there, but the back air wasn't enough, and now we've got a simple 1v1 here, and a 1v1 with Sora at this rage means there's a lot of confirms on the table, but the aerial sweep isn't going to land against someone as safe as Lucina. We did see Rami just win a 1v1 that last game. That's very um, true. They were able to hold on to at such a high percent, but Karkson is showing a different level of adeptness with these spells, the no mash. Great mix up there by Rami, just waiting. Uh, unintentional teabag on the ledge trying to get down. Ooh, any one of these up airs going to be huge, and a Nair confirms into them. So many spells and a down tilt attempting to try and call out a spot dodge, and Karkson was able to get that up B out of shield, see the spacing, and close out the stock and close out game number two for blue team after... After a 2v1, holy. Yeah, and that's a huge momentum shift, too. I know Leo probably did not mean to sort of 
I don't know the last dog. I, I would I assume hope the not. game was over. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, you got it, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't think they're doing that at least. Still, clean stuff from Karkzim. Let us play into game number three. Utopian Ray and Milkshi waiting in the wings, getting to see who is the Xeno Arcadian doubles third place so they can play against the second place to right. see who's the champion. That's just how brackets go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, still, very nice stuff on the part of, on both sides, to be honest. Yeah, and as you've been saying, the Soros have really been showing up today. Sora is extremely good in doubles. He's extremely good, period. But he's ex he's even better in doubles. Yeah, I love so seeing Sora as like sort of this support character almost. But then when it comes down to it, these one v two is like Sora does have the tools to sort of make it work. Yeah, it's doubles can be such a naturally high paced and high tempo kind of game state uh, because there's so many scrambles, there's so much hitboxes being thrown around, everything auto cancels. It's crazy. But Sora is in this perfect spot in a metagame where because he's so good at naturally playing defensive and naturally slowing things down and has the potential because of how um, how good his ledge play is and how long his combos can be, he can either take himself out of the game and force red team and force one side to, uh, to potentially focus on him or control the stock count, or he can take his opponents out of the game by such a prolonged combo state or ledge play. It's a perfect support role for their cast. I mean, look how long that combo ended. Yeah. And that's it. We're back into this game. We're going on Battlefield. I was thinking that maybe Leo and Randy would have wanted a bigger stage, knowing that in game one, splitting up Booty and the Kark Sim was huge, but maybe the platforms will prove advantageous for Lucina and Pikachu here. Oh, big, big pickup. This is, uh, Blue Team has not often had the chance to play with the lead, and they still won't, but... It is, at the very least, a percentage deficit that is not far behind for Red Team. Like, a big, big spike there from, from Leo as an answer. And we're seeing here both teams playing very, very well. Both of them really want to win this last game. Another great time mix there by Rami not mashing out of that uh, Blazaga. Leo's grabs have been huge. They've been able to set up for such confident ledge play as oof. I think they got hit with a... Uh, with Meta Knight jab into Pikachu dash attack, but a huge edge guard again from Leo, taking out two members of Blue Team in just one sweep. Yeah, Leo's play has been really explosive here off the stage. He's not afraid to jump out. Sometimes, maybe jumping out a little too far, but in moments where it works, it really works. And it keeps on working. Able to find a big, pretty big tech jump there. Leo again looking for these huge plays. As you were as you've been mentioning, uh, Jay, just these high APM characters can kind of transform a game if they're allowed to just attack unabated. Yep. Ooh. To the point where Booty's even trying to go for some big plays of their own, but you may have to lean on Karksim here to control that game state, and there is a big uh, a big stock taken from Leo, keeping the stock count even. It's just a simple dash back F smash from Booty was enough to delete that stock from Leo all the way across the stage, too. Ooh, and a huge F smash call out on the landing from Karksim transforming this game back into blue team's favor. But a drag down down smash does, oh, booty, hello, completing that combo. Wow, that back hit, hello. Great edge guard there. Wow, and it's a wait, one stock game wait. piece each year. I just missed what happened to booty there. That's so unfortunate being able to dro on, uh, dropping that stock like that. Still booty in an extremely healthy position. If they can close out the stock on Karkzim, though, that is extremely advantageous. Karkzim was the one that has been really just this backbone for Blue Team, while Booty has been the more offensive approach. Yeah, I think at this point, you have to delete Karkzim's Kark stock. You can take Booty on 1v2, one, one but Karkzim has already shown the defense is incredible. That's consuming both of Red Team there. The Thunder is almost able to close it out on Booty, on, uh, on so many players, but oh, the up smash there. Calling out on the part of Ram, and now it's just Leo against the world. Can they find a dash attack or something, uh, like, or some sort of confirm on uh, onto Karksim before they're able to close out and try and deal with Booty? The back air, oh, okay, oh, unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> That's so unfortunate. You know that 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 fake kill screen that got Leo at the end of game two. Yeah, that's got to hurt. That's that's tough. And Booty and Karksim are able to move on because of it, like. You would really think like Lucina back air would have killed there, but it just ended up not. And in a in a very similar position, 
As soon as Leo committed to one side, that was Booty there, able for the cleanup. And Meta Knight back air is no joke. That move is crazy. And they buffed it. Why did they buff it? Who knows? But <laughs> they did. And uh, Booty thriving with that back air, with that, uh, with that set win.